Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mag. So hope you're all staying safe and well out there. So in today's video, I will be reacting to the NUFC Twitter troll. Now, if you don't know who this person is, uh, there will be quite a few people I'm sure will understand and know who I am talking about here. This is a person that is pretending to be a journalist on Twitter. They are now uh, no longer on Twitter as, of course, of the last few minutes or so. Uh, their Twitter account has apparently just disappeared. Uh, but this person, whilst they were on Twitter, was pretending to be a journalist uh, and working for a certain um, company, of course. And they put out a tweet saying that they were going to be making an article about MBS and about Newcastle United fans and how us Newcastle United fans have average IQs and pretty much being derogatory towards Newcastle United and towards our region as well. Uh, then being very disrespectful to Newcastle United fans for, you know, fighting back and giving back uh, as good as they were getting, uh, you know, because at the end of the day, if you're going to come on to social media, then you are going to have to be willing to take back what you have given out and this person clearly just wanted to sit there and take the mick out of Newcastle United fans and that's not going to go down uh, with our fan base uh, because we are a fan base that is loyal a fan base that is passionate about our club our region and somebody disrespecting our club in our region is always going to get two barrels and this person got exactly that uh, because I put out a comment, uh, of course, in a inbox to them, saying that I didn't think that they worked for that company, and that they never did. Um, I then politely just basically said that their posts, their content that they were putting out on their account, was basically all agenda-driven uh, against Newcastle United. You could say that, quite a lot of their tweets they had about 21 tweets at the time of is taken uh the photos they've put more tweets up of course but now that account is suddenly just disappeared uh from twitter and this person in question of course uh was meant to be working for a football uh website and they were meant to be a journalist for them uh that website then was of course, in the position to sack this person uh, for their comments towards Newcastle United, towards our fan base. Uh, that person, of course, has then uh, supposedly gotten a new job, but now they no longer have uh, their Twitter account. So it's quite obvious to see that this is not a journalist. It's quite obvious to see that this is just a fan trying to have a bit of fun, take the mick out of the fan base. And it's quite obvious as well by the tweets that this fan could possibly be a Mackham uh, because of how many tweets is in there and the way they are worded as well. Uh, it just screams a Mackham uh, has done this. And to be honest, you know, they need to focus on their team. They need to focus on uh, watching their club because this is why... They ended up down there in the first place. This is why they ended up down in League One in the first place. Because they were too busy concentrating on beating Newcastle in matches. Switching out their managers right, left and centre. Uh, so that they could get wins. So that they could have some fake triumph against Newcastle. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, this person is now no longer on Twitter. Thank God for uh, that because... This person just does not deserve to be on there talking about uh, football because they clearly know nothing about it. Uh, they have an agenda driven against Newcastle as well. So if they are journalists, then I don't know how they've become that. I really don't. Uh, but in my personal opinion, that person is not a journalist. No company would hire anybody uh, to talk that much drivel, literally. Um, and I know Sky Sports hire some pretty terrible pundits. 
but I mean, have some of them went to the extent of what this person's went to? Uh, I'm sure they've probably wanted to. Don't get us wrong. I'm sure they probably wanted to. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, that person is now, thank God, off of uh, Twitter. You know, there we uh, and we don't have to deal with them. Uh, of course, the reaction to the inbox as well that I sent them, it just screamed once again that this person, you know, wasn't quite right. They didn't know what they were doing. And, you know, that's not me aiming uh, anything towards mental health wise, because I wouldn't do that. Um, but clearly this person, uh, you know, wasn't in the right frame of mind to be putting out uh, content on social media. Uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you know who I'm talking about here, then, of course, um, you know, let us know what you think down in the comments below about it. But thank God that person's no longer on Twitter. I'm sure they'll probably pop up again, uh, like many of the other ones that we've seen pop up out of nowhere, Villa Watch and Fulham uh, one as well, uh, which I keep forgetting that guy's name. But the Fulham one keeps popping up now and again. Uh, the Villa Watch one keeps popping up. I think it's just the same guy, basically. But they just keep popping up and keep hitting out at Newcastle. But it's not going to stop with... Uh, it's not going to stop with fan base. It's not going to stop with club. At the end of the day, we've got more riches than anybody else uh, has. And we know that our club, even without the riches, could still do it. Uh, and we've proved that, you know, by w the way we kept up with all them teams for them 14, 15 years under the previous ownership. And we are proving that with money, we're even more deadly. Uh, so till next time, remember hit like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, well, that's.